Hello everyone, this is my first video about React and web development so it will be a short video. I just want to share what I learned in like the previous year I was struggling with the price input and the like ID input, NIF and things like that. So I want to make like the price will be if I enter three digits so my price will become like this and also I want to make an input which looks like this so hope you will enjoy the video and this is my form I have an ID field and a price field currently is accepting anything it's not working this is also so let's start I need uh, function for the correct currency so const it will be currency mask is equal to it will take a, the event object filed by the HTML input element and that is like react dot change event and it will be HTML input element this is an arrow function so it's the same I will pass this event object to this like I will wrap my this event inside this function so let our value is equal to e dot target dot value so whatever in the e dot target dot value it will come here <coughs> sorry so now let's write our regular expression value our value will be equal to value dot replace it will be it's the regular expression for it will find anything besides a number like any character which is not a number and it will return replace it with like an empty string so it would it wouldn't be possible for anyone to write like abc inside this next our value is equal to value dot replace and this is the regular expression for the putting a point after two from the right up to two decimal places so these are the two decimal places and here I will put a dollar sign and a slash comma it will become like one and I also need a space up to the point so there will be a space up to the point now next I need to put a thousand separator after every from left to right after every three digits so next I will write date slash after train This is our thousand separator and next our e dot target dot value will be equal to our value. Next we will return e. Let's export this function. So here is our e. I want to wrap this event with my function it will be 
transparency mask so let's see this in action so the first thing like I'm starting to you can see here in the console I type like 38 characters but it's not accepting next I, I'm like you can see I'm entering the digits and it's like up to two decimal points from right to left up to two decimal points there is a point and after every three numbers there is like a comma a thousand separator so hope this worked well next we are going to write something for export ID mask it will also return the same thing and also HTML input element and this you can like if someone is writing for JavaScript so we can remove this thing it wouldn't complain first uh, I want my my string to be only like nine characters so e dot target dot max length is equal to nine let our value is equal to e dot target dot sorry value I'm sorry in this and next we are going to write our regular expression for it will be value dot replace first I want like I only want digits so comma null an empty string it will only accept the digits now value is equal to replace so after like I want to display the dash sign after eight digits so I will put eight and then slash d slash mm -hmm. I want to put the dash sign so it will be like this next uh, I will put dot e dot target dot value is equal to well our value and I will return the event so that's the other mask now it's the ID mask so let's see you see it puts a dash sign after my eighth element so like there are many places you want to put something like a dash so for many cases I don't know you can customize this but this was like a short video for telling you people how you can mask mask your inputs so I hope you all enjoyed the video and it will help you maybe or maybe not but <sighs> I just thought I should share so that's all and thank you for watching